Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, in light of the release of the new .NET framework that's coming up, .NET Core 1, um, as you can see, it's being scheduled for late June this year, so we're just a few weeks away. So in light of this release, I'd like to talk about the age-long debate that's been going on in the .NET uh, community. In the context of Sitecore, of course, uh, .NET Web Forms versus MVC. And what we should be using for new projects coming up. So for any of the new projects, uh, any of the new Sitecore startup projects, I would recommend using MVC. Sitecore mentioned uh, last year at a uh, Sitecore user group um, conference, I believe, or at an MVP symposium that web form support will be going away. They didn't give a date, they didn't say when, uh, even roughly, but we know it is going away. So keep that in mind. Don't freak out just yet. Web forms will be around for a long time. However, it will be going away and if there is a new project, a new cycle project that you're starting to work on, make sure it's going to be MVC and not web forms to save you, save you from having to switch over later. Now, why is Sitecore doing this? Well, if we look at the roadmap here, um, with the release of uh, first ASP.NET version 5, now ASP.NET Core 1.0, uh, this new release of the .NET framework unfortunately does not include support for web forms. Now, web forms will be supported by the .NET framework in general by version .NET 4.6, uh, therefore web forms will be around for a long time in the .NET world. So if you're working on a project that's outside of Sitecore, web forms is still a great option. In fact, I still use it for uh, my personal projects for proof of concept. It's very quick and easy uh, and, you know, dirty proof of concept, um, a quick way to throw something together uh, with uh, the user controls, drag and drop, and just easy binding. However, for all the new Cycle projects, MVC is the framework that you want to use. Now that's fine if you're a developer, or an architect, or a business user that's about to start a new Cycle project. However, what if your website is already on web forms? So what do you do then? Well, first start thinking about switching. <laughs> uh, maybe not right away, but uh, keep that in mind. Uh, support for web forms is going away. So when you do think about switching over to MVC, there are a couple ways you can do that in. One is, of course, to switch to MVC Cold Turkey, which is to uh, launch the uh, full-blown website redesign in MVC, completely scrap the web forms solution. However, there's, uh, you know, obviously the, the pro of that approach is that we have a brand new uh, shiny MVC website, perhaps with better styling, design, user experience, Yet, again, it takes a lot of budget to do that, so uh, very frequently that's not an option for companies. The second approach is to start switching gradually. Now, Sitecore is, a great, is an amazing content management system that allows you to mix web forms and MVC. Not only you can have some pages in MVC and some pages in web forms, you can even mix those together. That's right, you can have web form components, sublayouts, running inside MVC layouts, renderings. And the other way around, you can have MVC renderings running in web form, uh, form, uh, web form sub layouts. So there are a couple ways you can go about that. You can start switching either page by page, or you can gradually start switching over to MVC component by component, gradually switching sub layouts replacing them with uh, renderings. Now here are a couple articles to help you do that. Uh, in fact, I started using MVC uh, from the time when uh, Sitecore released it. it was it 6.5? Uh, I believe in 6.6 we started, um, started uh, uh, developing new websites, new solutions in MVC. Back, uh, back then, Webforms for Marketers did not support MVC, so we had to use uh, one of these hacks to allow running using sub layouts web forms in MVC layouts. 
So this article here uh, talks about how to use, how to do exactly that, how to use sublayouts in MVC layouts. Now this article written by Hedgehog talks about how to use MVC components in web form pages. Perhaps uh, this is the one you would want to use uh, to start switching over uh, sublayouts uh, to renderings. So updating your components to use rendering components MVC uh, from web forms. So there you go. Uh, that is perhaps the end of debate of uh, web forms versus MVC, at least in the Cycro context. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like it. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, add some comments below, uh, perhaps on your thoughts on web forms uh, versus MVC. If you still have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com, and uh, I will see you next Friday. Over and out.